you like to follow up on the <laughs> I would. Uh, no, I've been no, talking. Were you wrong, though? Do you agree with that analysis? <laughs> I, was, I was happy I didn't come in last. <laughs> no, um, thank you, committee, for uh, letting me come here today and speak to you. I, uh, I'm uh, sitting here not because I was a, a foster youth, um, not because I was a victim of child abuse or neglect. Um, in fact, I, I'm the very opposite. Um, you, could, you could probably call me the antithesis of a foster child. I have a great family. I have two great parents. Um, my father is a, a high school principal. My mom's involved in social work in San Diego. I have great siblings who have always loved and supported me. And, uh, and most importantly, most importantly, um, my family's love and support did not end on my 18th birthday. Um, they were there for me on my high school graduation. They were there for me when I went to college. They were there for me when I graduated from college and went to the NFL. They are there for me today, and more importantly, they're still for me, there for me in the future. Um, half of all foster kids even graduate high school. And of that, of that, within a year of their 18th birthday, a third become homeless in the state of California. A quarter become incarcerated. Um, you know, these, these are kids that were taken from their homes as children, you know, because of reasons of abandonment, neglect, and child abuse. And on their 18th birthday, are abandoned again by the state. And, uh, you know, I, I really think it is our responsibility um, to give them an opportunity, to give them the opportunities that I have, that I, I have had, and, and probably many of you, um, you know, a chance at a successful adulthood, a, a chance at a, a brighter future. And uh, I, I really think this bill, AB 1578, is the start of that. And, um, you know, it's a big step in the right direction. And, um, you know, with that, it, it expands programs um, like Guardian Scholars and, uh, for those of you that don't know, I'll quickly summarize uh, Guardian Scholars, basically, which encompasses this bill, um, is, a, is a full service comprehensive scholarship at the college level. Basically, an athletic scholarship, um, you know, a lot like I received. Uh, foster kids are not succeeding on just scholarships and financial aid. They have no life support, they have no support outside of school, no one to help them, no one they can depend on. And to ask them to be successful in, the, in that scenario it is, is quite ridiculous. And, uh, you know, I truly believe that, that with this, you know, you're providing, it, it's, such, it's, it's so funny, it's, when I first started to get into this, it, it's such little things as providing housing 365 days a year because on Christmas break, these kids have nowhere to go home, you know, and they're turned to the streets and, um, you know, it, it is providing a full scholarship, um, basically that gap, because many of these kids do qualify for, for financial aid, that gap, so that when these kids do graduate college, they aren't burned with a life of debt. Um, and can be successful adults. But, but most importantly, and I think this is the most important part of this, um, provides that support, um, that support that these kids don't have and haven't had their whole life. Um, Full-time employees with the university that can be that go-between, that, that, that if these students ever have a problem with housing, with you know, enrolling in classes, with filling out their grant papers, with laundry, with car problems, whatever that may be, that there's a full-time employee at the university, someone they can go to, someone they have on their cell phone speed dial, that they can ask that question and someone that's going to help them find an answer. And uh, the success rate of this program and programs like these it, it has been substantial uh, throughout the state. And, and this is something that I'm not just talking about. This is something I'm, I'm, I'm definitely taking on. And uh, this fall we'll be taking on at San Diego State, uh, the largest university that this program has been extended to in the state of California. And, and me and my foundation are taking on a half a million dollars a year, um, you know, and, and putting 50 kids in college a year. And that's a commitment that I, I'm willing to make because I, I really believe in this. And it's because I, I guess I, I, you know, I've, I've uh, spoiled in the fruits of what a family and what support can do. And uh, I, I would really not be sitting here in front of you if I didn't have those. And uh, like I said, I, I, I was raised in San Diego my whole life, and uh, I played quarterback for the San Francisco 49ers. I, uh, I truly am a Californian. Uh, I will be for my entire life, and uh, I really believe we have the chance to uh, to set an example and make California the leader of foster care throughout the nation. You know, and, and more importantly, set an example for the rest of the nation. You know, so that foster kids throughout the nation, you know, can have the same support that I had, have the same support that maybe a lot of you had, 